Hey guys, it's Mike the Wrestling God Smith, and you guys are watching All in Wrestling. So, the reason why I'm doing this video is for the AEW Blood and Guts review. Like I said, I'm pretty much, like I said, I'm going to give it a B because here's the thing. I didn't mind the, the, the tag team eliminator, but it wasn't really an elimination match because nobody really got eliminated. It was pretty much SCU won by pin, and that was it. Because here's the thing. I don't mind Jungle Express. I really don't because the thing is, I don't think they're ever going to get the titles until maybe SEU beats the Young Bucks, but that's probably not going to happen. Because here's the thing, and I'm being really honest, I'm okay with everything that happened last night with the pay-per-view. Even Darby Allen getting tossed down a flight of stairs against um, Ethan Page and Scorpio Sky. <coughs> Excuse me. Because here's the thing, it's so many things in the world that they did, it, which was perfect. Like, I didn't even mind the, the, the I really didn't even mind the, the Blood and Guts match with the Inner Circle and the Pinnacle, because I liked the gear they had. I just can see the Pinnacle kind of being, kind of being the way they are. Because MJF, I don't know why he's obsessed with Chris Jericho. Because, like, if there's anybody's spot you want to take, I don't know why you're not... I don't know why you don't want to take, like, Omega. Because he's, like, the grand champion right now. The dude has, like, four belts from four different companies. And Nakazawa, which I don't hate. I just don't, like, bro. Like, I made it... I feel like they just made him a lackey. He's not really doing that much with holding the gold. You know, and this is the thing I'm kind of thinking about because, like, even like here's the thing. Even if like Cock or Orange Cassidy win that belt, it's really not gonna change Kenny because the thing is the the, the Bullet Club are gonna interfere that way he can retain because the Bullet Club loves to interfere in everything they do. It's just that the thing is like I get so tired of the same like you know the sameness because here's the thing. I don't even mind the match we're getting with Yuji Nagata. Because that match, I think that's going to be a really good match. I think that... I love Mox's problem when he was talking about it. Like, I invited you to AEW for respect. Out of respect. I invited you for to, to, to challenge you out of respect. And he's like, you know... He's like, you know... I'm going to squeeze every breath of life you have. And, you know, and the thing I like about Yuji Nagata... Is that I know who he is. I know how what his work is. I've seen him do amazing work in New Japan. It's just that this dude, Mox is gonna have to plot everything to stop him. I mean everything. Because here's the thing. I don't even mind the fact that we got that match. Like, even with the Taz thing when he was talking about Christian Cage, which Taz talks a lot of crap. I don't even think, I don't really think Team Taz is even the team, the go-to team to even win. Because them dudes are never going to beat him. He's been on fire. He's like, I think it's like three, he's got to be like 2-0 oh, or 1-0 or something like that. Because here's the thing. I would want to see, like, Orange Cassidy should have been the first dude to challenge him. Dick really should have been that way because, I mean... Orange Cassidy should have the have the match at double or nothing. Pac gets to become number one contender if he doesn't win. That's what they did with Britt Breaker. They did that with her. I mean, to a sense, I kind of don't see Britt Baker taking that title away from because um, she did because I don't see it. As much as they're trying to make her seem like she's gonna be the top woman in AEW, which I don't really think that's possible. Because the thing is. Everybody wants a everybody wants a shot at her title, which I I get to a hundred percent. I just don't see the point of really having that because like that title is not really gonna make a difference. Because here's the thing, you can literally have somebody do it. Because I mean, look, we have titles and and change like titles in the changing hands a lot faster than usual. And this is the thing that kind of gets me because you're not really going to see a lot of them. You're not really going to see 
a bunch of, like, you're not really going to see a bunch of stuff. Like, you're not. Because I know that you're not. You know? So the stuff you see is, like, we're getting, like I said before, we're getting a bunch of different things. Because of blood and guts, we got a bunch of different, a bunch of different storylines, a bunch of new storylines. Because, like I said, I really think because Orange Cassidy, like in year one, didn't think much of him. But now I'm seeing him win a couple of matches. He's been on a really good winning streak. He's kind of done it, you know. And that's my thing to the sense because, like, that's my gut feeling of like, yo, we've done it. Like. We've done a lot of things. Because of the thing is, like, now, like, I really feel like Kenny was trying to job him out. Because I really do. I really felt like it was trying to job him out. And I really feel like Kenny was trying to job Orange Cassidy out. Because, like, when you got a guy like Kenny Omega, who literally is the ultimate, like, champion right now, because he has every belt. It's like, what are you going to do? You know? So you got belts like this. So you got good belts. You know? Like that. And you're thinking to yourself, like, hey, where did I get this belt? How did I get it? Because the thing is, like, yo. That means, even if he did, even if. Orange has to defeat him at AEW and got the belt. That means he would have to take on Pac at another pay per view, which would be like, which would be uh, Flighter uh, Flighter Fest. I mean Flighter Fest, or uh, Bash at the Beach or something like that. But I don't really think that's gonna happen until like at least June or so, or July. So they still got a while. Dude, I don't know. I don't know. Sorry, guys. It's like... Here's the thing. Like I said, AEW was good. Probably a little bit better. I just... Like, I want so much more for the Varsity Ones. And I'm glad that SEU has kind of been on a really good rink without Scorpio Sky. Because I feel like he's really been messing. He's really been messing with them. And he's messing them up. And I feel like he's been on this heel kick ever since he won the Face of the Revolution match. I mean, I like the Miro promo. And he wants the TNT title, which doesn't... I'm like, why won't you go after Kenny? He's got a bigger title. Like, you want to be TNT champion. And I'm like, bro, that's not going to work. So, Miro, if he beats you, what are you going to do? Because this is the thing. I like Miro because he's been on a... He's kind of been on a tear, like, beating everybody. But this, I haven't really seen this dude even go in a match. I've just seen him go on a rampage, and I think they're really just, like, they're not misusing him. He's doing great. But he's literally not doing because if he forfeits, you're not getting the title. I don't know why won't they wait till, like, freaking um, double or nothing to do that match, not on Dynamite. Because I feel like that's not even going to really do anything. That's only going to give him what? Because the thing is... NXT is still going to win because the thing is, NXT pretty much won last night. I mean, they won after Blood and Guts anyway. Because we didn't really get a lot of championship matches, which we should have got. But, you know, I think that would have been so much better. I think Darby should have had a match with Miro and defended him have him at, instead of having him at the next Dynamite, which is Wednesday. Because I feel like here's the thing, and I'm kind of taking a page out of Steven Larson's book. I feel that AEW is tr- like the second year of AEW, which is now they're trying to make, they're trying to elevate a lot of people. And the only people I think they're going to end up giving a really massive single push to is probably going to be Orange Cassidy. It's going to be Pac. It's going to be Ray, you know, Pac and Ray. Because the thing is, Pent is gone. Pent is pretty much on his own doing his own singles thing. But he pretty much lost to Orange Cassidy, the number one spot on Orange Cassidy. So. Thing is, even if he did, even if he did have to be Kenny, because he's not gonna, he wasn't gonna be Kenny straight. Because it was never gonna happen. It was never gonna happen. 
Because he's the two thing I've, I've realized with this life. Because he's going to end up... Miro's going to end up choking. Choking at the championship level. Because they didn't really... Get, they didn't even really treat him as much as... Like, that's the thing. The WWE really didn't treat him as much. They didn't cheat, treat him as, like, anything. So, like, I kind of could see him winning the belt against Darby, but that's just me. But anyway, guys, my like I said, my, my final verdict for this thing is a B. Because, I mean, it was really good. There was a lot of blood. Because they didn't promise on no blood. Because there was a lot. Especially with the inner circle versus the pinnacle match. Because that, there was a lot of blood. Because I mean, pouring. I mean, literally, guys, like, like, pretty much Cass Buller was bleeding. Dax was bleeding. Um, Sean Spears was bleeding. MJF was bleeding. He was bleeding a crumb. Like, he had so much blood on his face. That I don't even think... I mean, Tully, I think he's in. A, I think he's going to the hospital because that dude took a a chain door to the face. Because he was just beating the crap out of like Chris Jericho. Like his thing, he was gonna get thrown off the case. Like I really wanted to see MJF get thrown off the case. Like Chris Jericho do it. Chris Jericho could have did that. That's what I think they should have did. But anyway, guys, like, comment, subscribe. Peace.